the question has to come from somebody, does this policy serve the real culture that happens in a city? We need a new paradigm of creating and operating culturally in cities, in the city. New times need new techniques. Culturally, that's what we're faced with. We're in a new time. We need new cultural techniques. In the city, we are still operating on a top-down cultural model of presenting people, saying, we've decided what you want to see. So let's go back to that public sculpture moment. If people are going to have a piece of public sculpture in their city, why can't the public create it themselves? The creative arts is a big part of what a city is. That, um, that in addition to housing stock and jobs, that culture is the heartbeat and the pulse of a place, and that, that we should all um, own our citizenship. We are crafting democracy in that day-to-day, -day, on the ground, door-to-door, -door, all the way up to the greatest powers that we possess as a society. You know, we're there to serve the people, whether folks really think that or not, and, <laughs> and to enable things to happen in a public-private partnership. We as artists need more friends who are policymakers mm -hmm. and who are government officials, or at least folk who are allies to our practices. Without this notion of how these giant abstractions touch the ground and begin to make meaning, then that kind of a project, whether it's smart growth or anything else, is going to fail. It's mm -hmm. not going to stick. You as an artist have to really kind of walk in, walk in the bureaucrat's shoes. Mm -hmm. At what scale do we expect artists in our city to work? At what level am I interested in changing a city as an artist? What if we create work that's entire purpose is to be manipulated, that its entire purpose is to have intervention done to it? What you all are talking about is being community organizers, really being engaged and becoming part of the policy making, ma making body. We as designers and artists can play a small, but I think an important role in making these immense systems, the machines that Theaster speaks about, somehow accessible and manipulable to a greater number of people. There are these alternate models that need to be kind of explored for options. So I want to leverage uh, the resources of the city. I want to leverage the machine so that amazing things happen for folk who deserve it, including myself. Thank <laughs> you.